Hello there, this is Manu from Subnero. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to download, set up and run your initial simulations using Unit Stack 3. We will start by setting up a simple underwater network with two nodes using acoustic links. If you already own a couple of Unit Stack enabled modems, you can always use them to follow along this tutorial. But let's first simulate two nodes, two underwater nodes, because for that all you need is a computer and Unit Stack 3 simulator. If you have not already done so, head over to www.unitstack.net and download the latest version of UnitStack 3. Once you've downloaded that, unzip it and open a terminal, go to the folder. In order to run your simulations, simply type bin slash unit sample slash two node network dot groovy. And that will print out two web addresses. Both are for node A and node B, two of the unordered nodes that we are simulating in this simulation. On my left side of the window, I have node A and on my right side I have node B. Let's send something from node A to node B. For that you can use the command tell zero hello C. Node A has agreed and after a short delay you can see in node B it has printed hello C. But there is something that is printed before that which is a number that's 232 that's in node address of node A. Let's say node B want to respond back to node A, but this time instead of doing a broadcast, it just wants to send directly to node A. Since we know the node address of node A, which is 232, we can simply say tell 232 hello back and press enter. And after a short delay, node A will receive it. What if you do not know the node address of node A or node B? If you type host A and press enter, it will print the node address of host A. The same with host B. So it shows that the node address of host B is 31. So if you have noticed, there is a slight delay after I press enter from the transmission side before it gets printed on the received side. This is due to the speed of sound. So sound travels roughly 1500 meter per second underwater. This causes a small delay because in this simulation we are deployed node A and node B at one kilometer apart. We can actually use this to measure distance between two nodes that are deployed underwater. So if you want to try and find the distance from node B to node A, you can type range host A at node B and that will take a bit of a while because it needs to send some messages to A and it get to the response back and then it prints 999.7, that's in meters. So that shows that both of the nodes are roughly one kilometer apart. So what we have done so far is simulate two acoustic modems that are deployed roughly one kilometer apart. But in many cases, you might want to send and receive data in a programmatic fashion. You can actually do this with the help of Unit Socket API. So let's say I want to transmit some data from node B to node A. And we can do the same on both sides. So in order to receive at node A, we need to set the socket to receive mode. You can use the receive APIs. And now node A is blocking to receive something. From node B, we can do a test transmission by typing s.send hello again as byte array. So we are sending this as a byte array, zero and press enter. And node B has agreed. And after a short while, you can see the notification at node A side, which says there is a Rx frame notification. That means it has received a frame. You can simply type rx.data and that will print out whatever the ASCII character, the ASCII numbers of the strings that it has received. rx.data and press enter. And that will print the text that was received at node A. And once the transmission is done, you can close the socket by typing s.close. Okay, now we have seen programmatically transmitting and receiving data between modems from the web shell of a simulated acoustic modem. But many times you might want to do this from a separate computer or a separate console using a different programming language. Unit Stack supports various programming languages like Java, GUI, JavaScript, Python, MATLAB, Julia, and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at how to programmatically transmit and receive information using Python in Unit Stack. So I'm going to keep these two nodes as is, we are still simulating the two nodes. And now we will open two terminals, connect to the modems first, and then transmit and receive using those Python commands. So if you look at unit handbook, chapter two, getting started, it has a sample code in there that shows how to do this. So I'm going to use the same code to do this. 
In order to use Python APIs, you need the unitpy library. You simply have to type pip install unitpy. On the left side, you can see I have tx.py and the right side, you can see that rx.py. If you remember before, if you look at the terminal, I can see that the TCP port address is given as 1101 for node A and 1102 for node B. So I'm going to connect and transmit using node A and I'm going to connect to node B and wait for receiver. I need to first run rx.py. For that, I will open a new terminal, rx.py and press enter. What it does is it opens a socket, it calls a receive API and blocks on the receive. In the tx.py, it'll open a socket, send a string, which is hello in this case, and then closes the socket. There you go. So tx.py simply sends it, closes the socket and exits, and rx.py, it received it, it prints it out and exits the program. Once you're done with your testing, it is time to shut down your simulation. You can do that by pressing Control C on the terminal where you started the simulator. Alternatively, you can go to the shell of one of the nodes and simply type shutdown. So that's it for this video. We will be continuing this in the next video. See you.